Today I want to talk about a common problem that most E39 owners will experience at some point during their ownership. As you can see here on this 2001 530i, the traction control light or DSC light is currently on in the dashboard. Now there's several different types of failures that can happen in this car that can cause the DSC light to come on. Some people will just have the DSC light and some people will also have an ABS light on at the same time. The first step to diagnosing what's going on with your car is to of course have somebody with a proper scan tool get into the ABS system and find out the fault code for your particular car. It's important to note that your standard OBD2 scan tool will not be able to get into the computer system that will tell you the ABS fault code. This car has a fault number 88 which is an issue with the pre-charge pump in the ABS system. Now that can lead to two different resolutions to solve the problem. One of the most common issues with the pre-charge pump is that the ABS module needs to be rebuilt. There are several different online vendors that will rebuild the ABS module for around $100. Alternatively, you can buy a new unit from BMW, which ranges from $400 to $500. Additionally, I believe BMW will charge around $115 to reprogram the new module to your car. The second potential remedy to this problem is that the pre-charge pump itself is actually bad and needs to be replaced. For this car, it's probably more likely that the ABS module needs to be repaired, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the ABS module and send it out to be repaired. Alright, so here we are under the hood. We want to look on the passenger side strut tower. This unit right here is the ABS module and right behind it is the ABS pump. To remove this ABS module, the first thing we have to do is take a flathead screwdriver and remove this clip. Next, we're gonna take a small quarter inch drive ratchet, an extension, and a T20 Torx bit to remove the six Torx bolts that are holding the module to the pump. Now that all of our bolts are removed, we're just going to simply pull straight back. So now that our module is removed, we're going to send it out to get repaired and hopefully that resolves the DSC light that's on in the dashboard. So guys, I just got my ABS module back from the rebuilder. As you can see, it has a little seal sticker that they placed on here. and you can see that they must have opened up the top of it just to re-solder some of the connections that were bad. I took some extensive before and after photos of the inside of this module and it doesn't look like they touched or replaced anything on the inside. So we're gonna put it in the car now and see if that solves the issues. So let's slide this back into place. Now we have six screws with a T20 bit. Now we can just reinstall the plug. Don't forget to pull this out. We want to firmly push down as we slowly push this clip in. So this is the moment of truth. All we have to do now is start the car and see if the ABS unit has resolved the issue. Awesome. You guys see that? The traction control light is now off. And just for fun, let's hit that DSC button and see if the light comes on and off. Perfect. As you can see, I still have a service engine soon light, and that gave me a P0500 code after I drove the car for a day with the ABS module disconnected. So I'll just hook up that OBD2 scanner and delete that code, and we should be all set to go. 
So let's quickly just clear that code. Hook up my little pocket scanner here. So we'll turn the ignition on. Read the code. There it is, P0500. Hit erase. Yes, erase. And it's done. All right, so here we go one last time. Let's start the car. We just erased that code. And we're good. All of the lights are off. As always, I hope this saved you some money and time. If it did, please click the like button and subscribe.